Hello and welcome to a recap of today's open source hangout. Today we've been working on the companionship care app. You can stop by github.com slash companionship care and look for the companionship care project. In today's session, I've sort of been refactoring the project a bit. I decided that um, on some on some reflection uh, about how things are named, that I would like to change the name of a core component of the software. What we basically do when you use companionship care, uh, it's not running, so ignore that. <laughs> Is you log in and you create a kind of a caring circle, companionship circle. And you give that circle a name and a photo. And the idea is that this circle should be a circle of trusted people who are going to help you help provide companionship for a friend or loved one. So in this case, that person is Charlene. And I've been, um, I'm the only companion right here now for Charlene, but you can subsequently invite people and schedule activities and participate, join those activities or encourage other people to join as well. Now, previous to today, um, this used to be called people and you would log into the software and you would add a person and invite companions to that person and schedule activities for that person. It's somewhat natural and I may actually end up uh, second guessing myself here, but for some reason it seems more straightforward and all the language in the app and all the source code should reflect our natural way of conversing and, and conceptualizing um, the world and basically what we're trying to achieve or accomplish. And it seemed more natural to talk about creating a care, caring circle or a um, caring committee, inviting people to a caring circle, and scheduling activities, coordinating activities in that caring circle, which is akin to a group. And that's essentially what I've set out to do is just go through our source code and rename um, this app that was called people to circles. And in doing so, hmm, code coverage has failed. Code coverage, check. I'll have to check it out. Uh, quite a lot of lines of code were needed to be changed. I won't go line for line through this whole thing, but uh, suffice it to say, um, this pull request is not an example of how to properly rename a Django app. Uh, I took a sort of nuclear option and basing, uh, based my decision in, around pragmatism instead of uh, sort of professionalism or perfection or idealism. Um, I did a little preliminary research on you know how do you rename or change the name of a Django app and at least in this Stack Overflow thread there were several answers with some um, several steps in each answer and on considering these solutions for various reasons I thought well this one's a bit old or one might involve more SQL or one is not really even the, uh, fully answering the thing because Renaming a Django app includes also modifying the database tables and migrations. It's quite uh, involved. Renaming the table, the database table itself, possibly migrating data between existing tables. Uh, so one of these is probably the ideal way of doing it. But I didn't kind of come away from this discussion with a clear sense of um, the right way from for my project. And I sort of made just a pragmatic decision that since really this project is an alpha, I should actually publicly indicate that this project is alpha quality. Uh, there are zero active users. It's completely um, internally, uh, just internal testing right now. Yet it's in the life cycle of this project, it's okay to make backwards incompatible changes. I haven't made a, a release yet. I've deployed it in testing area, but yeah, so it's very alpha, very early stage development. So essentially I just took a very, I took a hammer to it and just renamed and moved all the files, renamed everything just with find and replace, uh, deleted all the database migrations, kind of reset them to zero, um, ran them 
random make migrations command. So it'll it'll create new uh, migrations. Everything runs now properly when the software is actually running. So I just close this out. I mean, it does work. So when I run the server. So that's been it. If we go to circles now, you can see I've added one circle. I can view that circle and edit it. Such and such, change the um, picture, all that good stuff. Join activities, um, mark activities has been just completed. So the software is working. And essentially, as I mentioned, this is um, encouraging people to come around uh, and become active and actively engaged in a person's life. In one another's lives, in fact, because in companionship, everyone benefits. Um, this tool has been informed by the COVID pandemic and the sense of isolation I think many of us felt uh, and continue to feel in a lot of ways uh, in our lives and wanting to foster meaningful connection between people, and particularly people in need, um, who, you know, some of whom have been in my personal life and, and friends of mine, uh, such as parents who are aging and, or grandparents. So yeah, this project is uh, called Companionship Care. I've got a basic website up uh, describing um, essentially the, what we're aiming for here and how we propose to sort of um, you know improve the situation of, ice, of social isolation or isolation that many people are facing, uh, how our tool basically works. And some forthcoming information about how I'm going to try to make it a sustainable business while committing to being an open source project and offering a free tier so that cost is not um, prohibiting that, that people can use this tool uh, and anybody can use this tool up to a certain extent and any kind of paid features will be based on natural scarcity things like transactional emails that have an actual um, you know cost per message or or data that like image storage those types of things would be a natural way to say hey if you can support us with a little bit of, per year we're not going to ask a lot uh we'll, you'll be our supporter tier you'll have a couple extra features uh, unlocked there if you're a professional and you're finding this tool to be beneficial you may be managing multiple staff with multiple um kind of care cir circles well maybe you can pay a little bit more and we'll have some organizational features for you for your, you know, well suited for your needs. Right now, the project is looking for early feedback to see if we're even on the right path. So if you've got uh, any interest, you can stop by github.com slash companionship care and just um, say hi in our discussion form. And we'll get you started. There's um, many ways to contribute to this and other projects. We're following um, a method uh, sort of called um, all contributors. You can see here um, we've got eight total contributors so far and we're really affirming and acknowledging that there's more than one, one way to contribute to open source projects you know code is very important and in fact code is what uh, open source is based on in, in a lot of ways but i think also open source is based on community and when i think of community i think of diversity people from different backgrounds with different skills and abilities uh, working together and bringing those abilities together, whether it's artistic design oriented, or if you can help improve the documentation or help us figuring things out and pl making plans uh, or with basic project management tasks, testing and troubleshooting, as well as like infrastructure management. There's tons of ways of getting involved again in this or other open source project. This open, all contributors has been a really uh, instrumental in helping me to realize um, the many ways uh, of contributing and to try to create an inclusive community. So again, this has been another live code hangout. Uh, if you'd like to get involved with these types of projects, you can stop by GitHub. Right now, there's an initiative called Hacktoberfest. There's a few more days of this um, of Hacktoberfest, so it's a really great time to get involved with the open source community. All right, I thank you for your time and stopping by this live code hangout or watching this summary video. I hope you're doing well out there and have a great day.